Hi everyone, today we'll be making two amazing holiday side dishes featuring Brussels sprouts and roasted carrots. I'm Chef Levi and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. Today we're going to be making two side dishes, Brussels sprouts with cranberry mustarda and roasted carrots with cumin, honey, and chiles. And the first thing we're going to do is start with the cranberry mustarda. We have a lemon. I'm going to cut off both ends to give ourselves some nice flat surface to work with. It's going to help it get easier to get the zest off. I'm going to use a nice sharp peeler and I'm going to peel the zest off, trying to make sure I don't go past to the white pith, which can be very bitter. Now the zest has so much flavor in it because all the oils are in that area. So you're gonna get a lot of citrus and lemon flavor from just using this zest. Now that we have our zest taken off here, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl of our food processor, get that ready to be pulsed up with some sugar. And then we're gonna trim off the rest of this pith so we can get at the segments in here. It's also called supreming, and we wanna make sure we're just getting the delicious lemon part and none of the membrane in there. And then we're gonna make sure that we got it all trimmed off, and you wanna be real careful with this technique as we're gonna be cutting towards our hand, but we're gonna put a bowl down to catch any juice while we're working. We're gonna take these membranes here, we're gonna cut inside each one. And you're probably gonna get some seeds in here, but we can take those out before we add anything to the food processor. All right, now that we have our segments out, we're gonna pick out some of these seeds. Once we have these seeds cleared out, we're gonna add the juice and the segments or suprems to our food processor bowl. Add in a cup of granulated sugar, puree that together. Once the zest and the sugar have combined, and broken down, we're gonna add this to this bowl we have here. Make sure to remove the blade. Scrape all the pieces down into the bottom of the bowl, make sure to get all that sugar. We're gonna use the same food processor bowl and collect the rest of that sugar up to mix the rest of our ingredients here. We have some cranberries and some prunes. Now the cranberries are gonna be nice and tart, but you can add other fruit if you want to. Cherries or blueberries would be really good in there. And then we're gonna add in some prunes, some dried plums, a lot of flavor, a lot of sweetness there. Good fiber as well. And we're gonna puree this. Make sure this is broken down and pick up any of that sugar that's left into the bowl. Once that's done, we're gonna take the lid off. Make sure again, we take out our blade so we don't spill that. And then add that in with our sugar and lemon mixture. Now we're going to combine this together and we're gonna add in some other flavors here. We have some Madeira, nice fortified wine, a lot of good sweetness in there, a little bit of salt, and that's gonna bring out all the flavors. We like to add salt to make sure we can taste everything that's in there. A final mix until it all comes together. And then what we wanna do is we wanna cover this or put it in a resealable container, throw it in the fridge, chill it for about six hours, maybe even overnight. While our cranberry mixture chills in the fridge, we're gonna get started with some bacon to get our Brussels sprouts going. So we're gonna add that to a large saute pan about medium heat. Make sure you spread it around. And you're gonna let this cook down until the fat renders out and the bacon crisp up. Just give it a stir every once in a while. Let that render off and we'll trim up some Brussels sprouts. What you wanna do is just take your Brussels sprout. If there's any loose leaves, you can remove those, but we wanna just trim the very end and cut it in half to make it easier to cook. So trim that very bottom part. Making sure you leave enough of the bottom on there to hold it together. Cut it directly in half. And that's all you need to do. We're gonna do that a couple more times till we're ready. And then just continue to keep an eye and stir the bacon. Now that our bacon is rendered off, we're gonna remove it and save some of that oil to cook up our Brussels sprouts. We'll leave about a tablespoon to two tablespoons left in there. I'm gonna to add to that a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna start searing off our Brussels sprouts on each side about three to four minutes. You wanna be careful to lay these down. Don't splash on yourself. And let them set. Make sure you get nice caramelization.
to season this with a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of ground pepper. We have our oven preheated. We're gonna add them in there. We're gonna cook them for about 10 to 15 minutes or until tender. While our Brussels sprouts are roasting and our cranberry has already chilled out, we're gonna finish up the recipe. We have some mustard seeds, about two tablespoons worth. We're gonna add those in there. Then we have some mustard powder, about three tablespoons worth. This is gonna have a lot of bite to it. So we got that sweetness, that tartness. Now we're gonna have a little bit of bite from that mustard. Also, a little bit, quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Add a little bit of acid and also just a little liquid to help everything move together. So you wanna make sure that you combine this real well. And now that we've got this all mixed together, we're gonna grab our Brussels sprouts out of the oven. Add those to a separate bowl. And then we're gonna to toss this with this cranberry mixture. Now, you're gonna have a little bit of this cranberries left over, but they are great for a charcuterie or a cheese board or just to go with any roasted meats. And since we don't wanna waste any of that nice bacon we made up earlier, might as well just, you know, throw a little bit in here as well. Toss that to coat. Now we're gonna start on our next recipe, roasted carrots with cumin, honey, and chilies. And the first thing we're gonna do is make our sauce. We have some plain yogurt here. We're gonna add some seasonings to that. We have some yellow curry, which has a lot of nice flavors, fenugreek, some coriander, and turmeric. And we're gonna boost that turmeric up with some extra turmeric. Add that in there. And then a little bit of salt to make sure all those flavors come together. And then we just have to combine. So we're gonna take this and mix it all together. Now once this is combined, we can throw this in the fridge, let all those flavors come together while we build the rest of our dish. We've got our carrots ready, which we've already trimmed and peeled. Our water is boiling already. We're gonna add some salt in there. This is gonna kickstart the cooking process, make sure it doesn't spend as long in the oven. Now we wanna add these in slowly. You wanna set them in, not drop them, to make sure that you don't splash boiling water on your hands and burn yourself. It's been about three minutes, our carrots should be ready. We have some parchment lined tray here. We're gonna pull them and let them dry out on there while we finish up the rest of the recipe. We're gonna make sure we pull them out, let most of that water drain off, just set them on here. And the rest of the liquid will dry off naturally as it warms up and sets. Now that we've pulled our carrots off, I can go grab the rest of the ingredients for our glaze. And we're gonna start off by breaking down a couple ancho chilies. Now these are dried poblanos, so they have a nice flavor to them. And you might not see them normally called anchos and see them as a poblano, but once they've dried, all peppers change, or chilies change their name. So we're gonna start by taking the stems off of these. And we actually don't need to pull out the seeds or anything. We're gonna chop these whole and add everything in there. We just need to break them down a little bit. And I just want you to take that hard stem part off first. Once you have that off, you cut them into strips and then we're gonna turn those. Now we have a nice, easy chop. And we're gonna do that to both of our chilies. All right. Now once we've chopped these, we're gonna take a little bit of malt vinegar, add that into a pan. Now we've been heating this saute pan over medium heat, so it should be ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and add our ancho chilies in now, get those starting to rehydrate and reconstitute, make sure that flavor gets into our entire glaze. And then we have some other seasonings we'd like to add. We have some sliced garlic. We have a little bit of cumin seeds. Nice Southwest flavor there. A little bit of salt to make sure we taste all our flavors. And then last, a little bit of honey. Now I sprayed my measuring cup with a little bit a cooking spray to make sure that it's not gonna stick in there. It's a little tip you can use at home. Makes it a lot easier to get that honey out there. Give this a nice stir just to make sure we incorporate all our flavors. Then we're gonna let this cook down until it has a glaze-like consistency. Just takes seven to eight minutes. Now that our glaze has reduced, and these little bubbles are a good indicator of that, we're gonna add our carrots in there, stir them around, make sure we get a lot of that glaze to cover the surface area, get all that flavor cooked in. So you just wanna mix these around, give them a couple toss, just to make sure you see a little bit of glaze on the carrots. And then we have a tray here, with parchment line, 
We're going to put our carrots right on there. We're going to make sure we get all of our glaze on top of here. So you can actually take one of your carrots, push the rest of that glaze on there. We're going to throw this in a 425 degree oven. Let it finish cooking for about six to seven minutes. Our carrots are ready, out of the oven. We're going to start plating this. We have our yogurt we pulled out of the fridge. It's been chilling down. We're going to plate this in a nice platter here. I'm going to take a good dollop or scoop of this yogurt. Give a nice little smear like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm making a plate for myself. So I got to make sure I add a little bit for me as well. Once that's on there, we're going to go ahead and add our carrots. And you can put this however you want it on the plate. You could do a nice line. What I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little crossing pattern. Maybe stack them on top of each other. Make it fun when you grab them off the plate. There we go. Now I want to make sure that I also add some of these chilies on there. Get all that flavor that we've worked in there on our platter as well. Get a couple for me. There we go. Add a little bit of our chilies and the glaze on top. We can set that away. And now to the best part, tasting. So we have our Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to go with that first because I got to have some bacon. So we're going to eat that. And we want to make sure we also get some of that cranberry mustardo. Really good. That sear on the Brussels sprouts gave a ton of flavor. The bacon cooked through the whole way. And that mustardo gives that, that nice vinegary and that, that bright touch so it's not too heavy of a dish. Now I'm going to try one of our carrots. And I want to make sure I get a nice bit of that yogurt sauce on there. And what I think is going to be the best is just the sweetness you're going to get out of cooking those carrots like that. Still nice and crisp, and that yogurt sauce kind of brings it all together. You get the sweetness from the carrots. Those chilies give it almost like a Tex-Mex flavor. And then that yogurt has that curry and the turmeric that has a cumin in it. It's delicious. So this holiday season, you can still bring everyone's favorite vegetables to the table. Just one special twist to up the flavor and really wow your guests. Use the link to download the full recipes and be sure to check out our other Aprons Cooking School online videos and subscribe for more great content from Publix. Thanks for watching.